Okay, last sub lesson. It's all about printer troubleshooting tools and maintenance tools. And this is going to be a quickie. I just wanted to talk about a couple of the things you might want to use with your printers. And, you know, you have a printer like this. Uh, a, this is an inkjet printer and it's a multifunction device. But a device like this can usually do about 10,000 pages before you have to really maintenance it. The laser printers, and I'm, I've historically been an HP guy. I use a lot of HP printers, but it, it works essentially the same way with other manufacturers. These laser printers, they might be able to handle 50,000 to 100,000 pages before they have to be maintenanced. Or you might want to maintenance the printer every year. And so to do that, you want to get yourself a maintenance kit. And, uh, you know, for HP printers, there's maintenance kits for all their laser jets and everything that they make. And so you can see down here, if we go to specs, you'll see the average yield is 90,000 pages once you install this. And, you know, that's the yield when you first uh, start running the printer as well. And it tells you what you get here. You get a new roller assembly. So you could change out those entrance and exit rollers, a new separation pad, because, you know, that can go bad over time, a mylar shield. And for example, this printer has a mylar shield. If you were to open up the top where you'd scan the documents, there's a mylar shield there that goes across the length of the printer. And uh, that shielding is necessary when you have uh, scanning going on. So it comes with a Mylar shield as well and an installation guide on how to uh, work with all these. And you might get additional stuff. You might get additional rollers or pads and other things. But generally, this is what you get in your um, uh, maintenance kit. And if you're wondering about installing any of this stuff, most manufacturers of printers have very good forums and a very good support page. If you don't get an installation guide or you lose your installation guide, you can go to uh, the website, you know, for example, the HP website, and it shows you how to change out all these user replaceable parts, separation pads, mylar shields, uh, a hard disk if there is one, dims, etc. So here you have the separation pad step by step with images. roller covers, the Mylar shield, uh, it's all here. So if you're interested in doing any of these things and maintenancing the printer, go to the HP Support Center or whatever printers uh, support forums or online documentation, and you'll get a lot of good stuff for that. So the maintenance kit's really important. You want to do that generally with the printer, a laser printer, every 50 to 100,000 pages. It might be more, it might be 200,000. You want to check your documentation and see how far your laser printer can go. And the next tool is uh, the toner vacuum. And here's an example of one by MetroVac. This is their DataVac Pro Series. And this guy is high powered and meant to pull out all the tiniest little pieces of dust and debris. If you've ever seen toner spill out, um, it just gets everywhere and it's so tiny that it's very difficult to pick up even with a regular vacuum. So you use something like this and you can also use this to clean the insides of computers and the inside of the printers and, uh, you know, electronic equipment, as they say, that's sensitive to dust. They use specially tipped tools here so you won't damage your computer system, even if you touch something by accident and you won't, um, uh, send a shock through the uh, components. That's what's important. And that's why I usually say don't use a vacuum. And what I mean is don't use a regular old vacuum to uh, vacuum out your printer or your computer. You want to use something uh, proper for that that has been uh, designed to be powerful enough yet safe enough to use on there. But you still want to be real careful when you do use these. Keep in mind devices like this might go to might go for uh, two or three hundred bucks. So that's something else to uh, look for. This is a great troubleshooting tool. Get all that toner out of the printer and you'd be amazed how much better it works. And with a tool like this, which super filters it, it doesn't get all out into the air, into the atmosphere. Very important. I would still recommend doing this outside, but you do what you can do. And the other tool that uh, CompTIA talks about in the objectives is the uh, 
compressed air. And we showed the compressed air before. You want to have compressed air to blow the stuff out from the crevices where you can't really get to with the vacuum. So you blow the stuff out and then you can vacuum it out with your special vacuum. And uh, that's a good way of keeping everything clean. Uh, and this is especially important in dirty environments, warehouses, um, in places that uh, maybe kitchens or uh, storage spaces or basements. You know, this is where it's going to be really important to use these types of tools. So make sure you have your compressed air. Make sure you have your data vac, you know, for your computers and your printers. And you can even use this on the inside of your mobile devices and laptops if you're real careful. You can see they give you different attachments for that. And of course, your maintenance kits for your printers. That's, you know, the best thing to do to avoid troubleshooting in the future, the best thing to do is to maintain your equipment, take care of your stuff. And the maintenance kit's the best way to do that for the printer. So that's it for this sub lesson. And that's it for the lesson on printer troubleshooting. And that pretty much wraps up the course. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Dave Prouse, and we'll do a wrap up after this, but I uh, hope you enjoyed everything and good luck to you with the exams.